but God's plans are perfect. And I just wanted to read the words to a song that came to my heart um, this morning. It's page 238 in the evening light. And it says, I will follow thee. My Lord. And I want to read the first two verses. It says, I will follow thee, my Savior, wheresoever my lot may be. Where thou goest, I will follow. Yes, my Lord, I'll follow thee. Though the road be rough and stormy, trackless as the foaming sea, thou hast trod this way before me, and I gladly follow thee. And that is our prayer. I want to say to my brother, my sister-in-law, keep following him. God will give you the strength. He'll give you the grace. My wife had miscarried our child. You know, we thought it was so hard, and certain days it does hit us hard. But, you know, our mind is made up to follow him. Wherever he leads us, that's where we're going to follow, by the help of the Lord. So you all are in our prayers. We love you, dearly. God bless you. So 
I didn't realize how strong will she was until she did this. So I go back out. So I, well, I, well, before I did that, I told her. I said, okay, so maybe if I had to threaten her, she'll, she'll listen to me. So I was like, Kevin, I said, if you don't lay down, I'm going to have to pop you. So, so anyway, she lays down. And I go out to the kitchen. I hear this big thud. And I'm like, like what? And so, so anyway, I hear like all this wrestling around. And I hear Mari like, Kevin, he's laying down. And so, so I run So I walk towards the room and, and where how the condo was set up was like you can see from the living room into the bedroom. So like I'm looking and I see her like just running around the room. And so I walked in and this little girl, she saw me and dove into the bed. She had never been whooped by me. That was the first kid I had to spank. It was so sad. But all the way, I was like, oh my goodness. And when they say it hurts me more than it hurts you, that is really true. And I was like, how does this hurt you? What the But anyway, so um, it really does hurt. I was like, what is this kid? All the time. So um, anyway, so then after after she calmed down, she said, like, the world was coming to an end. She, she calmed down, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to land in bed with her because I get it. She's not used to my own. So I laid down with her. Within minutes, fell asleep. So I said all that to say this. Hannah was a very, very strong little kid. She was very uh, feisty, but there was a fight in her that she needed in order yes. to get through what she got through. Amen. There was a fight that God knew she needed. She was only going to be here for a short amount of time. And I think she knew she was limited. And so therefore, she gave us all of who she was in those four years. Even if it meant trying my patience. I believe that God knew that she was here for a short period. And so he gave her all the strength she needed. Gave her all the energy she needed. She was a very energetic child, as, as you all heard, energetic. And so... Anyway, the last Saturday, God finally got her to calm down enough, and he laid her to rest, and he laid there with her, so to speak, and she finally took her, her final flight into heaven, and I can only imagine, she's probably jumping over mansions and crashing into the gates and running full blast in the palm Peter or something. I can only imagine, so I'm so grateful that I was able to spend time with her, um, you know, I... I Always, it, was, it always made me happy when she would come up there and sit with me. I sit on the first row here, and with me being on the first row, of course, everyone can see what you're doing. So I'd be like, go to sleep. <laughs> and she would go to sleep. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but also grateful for her little life and the strength that she showed. She was such a strong child. And I really felt like she was beyond her years. Even though she was four, to hear her conversate, um, she was very smart. And I loved her. I'm going to miss her. And I'm praying for Junior and Liz. You guys did a great job. And you continue to do a great job. I'm so proud of you. Anyhow, for those of you all who don't know who I am, I'm Bruce's younger brother, uh, Chris Kelly. I currently reside in Columbus, Georgia. And uh, by the way, of Springfield. So this is, this is home for me. Obviously, but um, but Cammy, I, I called Cammy Cam Bam for the, some of the same reasons that her auntie Koki, which she called Lauren, uh, the camster, she uh, she was very rough, very rough, and uh, she run up to me and dive on my lap, and, and I have a video on an old cell phone back at home uh, where her and Amari and, and Serenity, my daughter. Uh, they're running around the basement and, and tackling Bruce and climbing over top of him. And Cammy, she held her own. You know, she was half their size, half their weight, but that little girl could go. And so uh, it, it really touched me being so far away from her to hear my father relay a message and Bruce tell me the same thing that, you know, she really took hold to Cambam. And she would say, my name is Cambam. And so she told Bruce, she said, she said, Uncle Chris picks me up and kisses me and tells me he loves me. 
And uh, you know, that's one thing that I try to tell each and every one of my nieces, especially that they're princesses. You know, this world will tell them a whole lot of stuff, but I, I believe that it's incumbent upon the men in their lives to tell them all the time you're beautiful, that there's greatness that awaits you, uh, and, and, and that I love you. And so, you know, Bruce, I, I do want to take this time to commend you and Liz as well. Uh, it really, it, it really affected me to hear you cry. And you know the story of Serenity, many of you all do. The doctors have said that she wouldn't make it. She had spinal bifida and everything known to man would be wrong with that child. And you and Scotty were there for me when she was born. And Serenity went through a whole lot. And I could only imagine when I got that call, I was on my way to a speaking engagement, and Leslie called me, and I could barely make out what she was saying until she said it again, and Scotty called me about five minutes later and told me the same. And finally getting through to you, I know you were very busy, and I was able to speak to you, man, and you know, I, I began to break down about it because to lose a four-year-old child, that's something that is very unexpected. I mean, you know, everyone, and there's a point unto man wants to die, but to lose, you know, my niece and then to hear you over the phone and to know exactly what is going through this is mine as well, and I just really couldn't contain it. And so I, I tried to laugh it off this weekend. I tried to, in a sense of, you know, make light and say, you know, she's in a better place and and and, and, and bring humor. But this is a tough one. So it's, it's a tough one. You can smile all you want. And that's good, and I'm glad that she's in a better place, you know, and, and, and I'm happy that she's not suffering. But for those of us who are still here, I believe that it is important to take time to release and to let it go and to let it out. You know, I, 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 like you said, Bruce, we, we try to be strong. We, we get that from our father. We try to be tough, and, and we like to be men and all of that. But, you know, I, I, had to, I had to let it out. I had to, I had to cry, and I had to release that because... This is the art, man. And to, to know what you went through, uh, from, I, I've always idolized you, Scott. I've always looked up to you all. My oldest brother, we shared the same birthday. Some of you all know that. October the 29th, you know, had seven years of having his own birthday, and I came home. <laughs> you know, and, and I've been a blessing to him ever since. <laughs> I, I still look up to you, man. I, I, I admire everything that you're doing, man. I mean, 
shining with the glory of God. Continue to live the life. Continue to look up because there is so much work for you to do. God bless you. Have a smile on you. And amen. This is a wonderful celebration. You see such a great turnout of your family. And so I just, I just want to applaud the Kelly family, the in-laws. I don't know your last names, that Liz's family, but this is a great celebration. God bless you and have a smile upon all of you. Christopher Kelly and Lauren Kelly. 